In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make an entire drawing using quick shapes. I've started with a new drawing and set the page orientation to landscape. On the tools toolbar, in the quick shapes flyout, you can see that Draw Plus has a lot of different shapes for us to use. I'll start with a quick ellipse. To place the ellipse, I simply click and drag on the page. As this is going to be a cartoon, I'll set the line width to 5 point. Next, on the colour tab, I'll set the line colour to a dark orange and the fill to a slightly lighter orange. You can see how this looks by temporarily using the pointer tool. I just click on the page to deselect the shape. Next, I'll create the tail. On the Quick Shapes flyout, I'll click the Quick Badge. Then, click and drag as before to create a large badge shape on the page. To give the badge some shape, I'll just drag the node to Style 4 on the right. I now need to rotate the shape 90 degrees. For this, I'll use the Arrange tab. If I click the small arrow next to the Rotate button, I can select 90 degrees. Now we can select the pointer tool and position the tail in place. To create the fin, I can use a copy of this shape. While the shape is selected, I'll just click Copy and then Paste. The copy is pasted exactly on top of the original. Now I can drag it to the top of the ellipse. On the Layers tab, you can see the three shapes. Now I can resize the fin by dragging on the handles to resize the shape and position it so that the point is in line with the line behind it. At the moment, we still have three separate shapes. We can use the Shape Builder tool to make the body more fish-like. With the Shape Builder tool selected, I drag a line from the tail to the body. The shapes highlight to show that they'll be changed. When I release the mouse button, the two shapes are added together. You can clearly see this in the Layers tab. We can also use the Shape Builder tool to create new separate shapes. I'll move the pointer over the top half of the remaining quick badge. To split the shape, just click once. We now have two shapes. I can use the second shape to create the pectoral fin of our fish. Before we continue, let me show you what would happen if we click the bottom half of the quick badge with the shape builder tool. Initially, it looks as if it works in the same way, as we seem to get the same three shapes. However, when I move the shape, you can see that it's created a hole in the shape beneath. This can produce some very useful effects. Back on the original drawing, we'll now select all of the shapes and click the Group button. I'll just reposition the fish, and then we can add the eyes. To create the eyes, we can use a quick ellipse. This time, I'll hold down the Shift key while dragging to get a perfect circle. We can leave the line colour as it is, but I'll just change the fill to white. Next, as the ellipse is still selected, I can just click and drag to create a smaller circle for the pupil. This time, I'll drag the node down a little. This creates a wedge in the circle and acts as a highlight. The other node controls the position. To colour this shape, on the colour tab, I'll click the link button and then set the colour. With the pointer tool, I'll select both objects and click the group button. I want to give my fish a second eye and can easily do this by copy and paste. However, I want the new eye to go behind the first one. I can do this by using target insert. With the group selected, on the standard toolbar, you can see the target insert buttons. These give you the option to draw in front, behind, or even inside the selected object. I'll click Draw Behind. Note how the edges are highlighted with an orange glow. Then, Copy and Paste. The newly pasted object is selected. I can move the new eye to the right and make it a little smaller. Notice that it's behind the first eye that we created. Before I draw the mouth, I'll need to click Draw Behind again to turn it off. I'll just readjust the eye slightly and then use a simple ellipse to create the mouth. Before I continue, I'll just group my fish. I'll now add a background. With the fish selected, I'll click Draw Behind. Next, 
I'll select a quick rectangle and draw the shape on my page. I'll use the colour tab to apply a blue line and fill. To complete the drawing, I'll just add a little bit of detail using the pencil tool. Before I start, I must click draw behind to turn it off again. I want to use the same colour as I used for the fish outline. This has been handily added to the document palette. I'll just select it and then I can just draw. There we have it, a cartoon fish made almost entirely out of quick shapes. If you need more information, see the how to tab, draw plus help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.